Hello everyone, this is Kosher Bacon. Welcome to Fortnite. 50v50 Soaring Squads. They added a couple new things in this game mode. Uh, impulse grenades and bouncers are a lot more prevalent. You can now deploy your glider just by falling. So here, we are next to our cliff. Let's see if we can trigger it. Yep, see? So that's going to make combat really interesting, I think. So how high of a thing do you need to fall off to deploy? Hmm. I don't know. Alright, I wonder where the circle's gonna be. Hopefully it's by a, a mountainous region. Like, um... Somewhere where we can use the soaring stuff to great effect. I don't know if anyone's gonna be going there. Maybe one other person. Alrighty then. So yeah, we'll try this out for a bit. I need to get three kills for my daily challenge. I guess you can see that up over here now. So yeah, that's cool. Um, odds are I'm going to switch to squads, Phil, and just do that. Because there's a decent chance if we all jump Delta that I can get some kills there. I just... Last night I was trying it and I was just having such difficulty. Alright, dusty... Mm, other than the dusty part over there, that's a pretty flat area. I guess we'll build the terrain as we want it, because people are going to be building to use the jumping ability. Maybe. Right. I'm going to hold out on drinking those minis till we get the, the nearby chests, because there's a decent chance we could get a... Um, Two big shields. Or not. So, I muted my mic just a little, because I noticed I was a little loud in, in later videos. Let me know what you think, because I think I got it right. Like, is it too loud? Not loud enough? Alright, decent loadout. Let's head over to the arrow. Should we try over there? Uh, we got time. We could go to the ruined building. Hoping to get, like, a scoped AR, because that's a good way to get kills. Post up on a hill, scoped AR everywhere. Oop, and I fall down. I got everything from in here? I did. Also getting lots of heavy bullets, so even a bolt of action would be nice, but I much prefer the scope they are because I'm more of a spray and pray kind of sniper. Take that. Alright, let's head to the arrow, then let's just run by Loot Lake through there. I would take the blue pump, but I've already got the golden heavy, so I wouldn't bother. I actually got some decent weaponry for up-close personal stuff, although the SMG leaves something to be desired. Maybe we can get a compact or something. Although, I can never seem to use the compact properly up close, so I should honestly stick to the heavy shotgun. Alright, cool.
I'm not going to bother with that ammo because we've already got so much of it, there's no way I'm using it all for the, uh, the shotgun. Although we also have tons of uh, other ammo, too. I think they boosted the ammo rates for this game mode. And now we run. Currently, oh, phone ding. Currently actually doing okay as far as it goes. So yeah, it looks like we have decent control over the circle, although there's a lot of people down over in Dutsy. Dutsy? Dutsy. Dusty. Dutsy. I can't talk. This guy's down over here means that I might encounter some enemies, but I doubt it. Hopefully there's a ramp or a bouncer up top over there. Like, what are the odds? If not, I could die. Well, no, I guess that's right. You can just deploy off ramps now. Cool. Do you want to go even higher? I don't think we'll need to. Like, launch pads bouncers are still going to be more uh, powerful than just deploying off a tall ramp, but you can absolutely do this. So fall damage isn't going to be a thing anymore. Like, you can build up as tall as you want and then just reliably do this. Is that a big potion, or is that a boogie? No, but that's impulse. Um, I'm not gonna grab it. That's a boogie. I just could really use some big shield. Do I want to get up on top of this hill? Jump from there? Yeah. Got a bunch of cards. Okay, let's consider... There's going to be enemies there, or there, or there. It looks like they're all outside over here, if I had to guess. But I do hear a lot of gunfire in this region, so maybe not. But yeah, these ramps over by Dusty are going to be interesting. Because you can do this to escape, although people can do it to pursue. Good RPG scope they are. I will take you. Okay, where are the enemies at? Let's get down over here to cover. Deploy? No. Wouldn't let me deploy. Darn it, these enemies are all down. I wish these would count as eliminations. I never grabbed that uh, rocket launcher, did I? We don't have a lot of mats left because I've just never been burning through them. Now, this is kind of interesting. Like, I'm not even afraid of people shooting the thing out from under me now.
come here, you. Knocked. Darn. Don't care. Knocked one, killed him. Yeah, you can trap me, I don't care. Oh, I was gonna dance for you. Yeah, I was hoping he would uh, get killed by teammates and I would get rezzed, but I don't care. So that was kind of interesting. Should I try sniper solo? Sure, why not? Sniper shootout. Odds are it, um... It's just snipers and pistols and bushes. So many bushes. I can't wait to get sniped through the head in five seconds, then we'll do squads. Okay, maybe I'll get lucky get like a thermal scoped AR, or actually I'm starting to prefer the regular AR just for the increased fire rate, because with the thermal scoped I feel like it fires uh, too long a distance between the fires. Oh, build tactically. I might like this actually. Alright, so this is solos mode, so we should treat it as such. So let's look at the weapon drops. We have bolt action snipers. Semi-auto snipers are on the on the table, okay. I'm probably going to want to go for a bolt action, much like everyone else. Um, let's see. So I'm curious how the meta is going to play out here, because this might be like my earlier videos where I'm just crouch running around trying to keep a low profile until I can figure out where people are and kill them from a distance. I mean, I suck at sniping, it's just how I am in this game, so, that's the thing. I feel kind of surprised they had to put no revives down for our solos, but maybe this was played with squads before. Squads on this would be interesting, I guess. Still a lot of people just jumping over there, despite the fact that you won't get an AR or anything. Like, for me right now, the important thing is to find a secluded location where you won't be bothered and, um, get a sniper. Build some mats, get some mats. So the lower amount of resources might mean that people just tear down more trees, or what have you. I know that wood has been, uh, well no, not wood's been nerfed, but metal and wood and stone building mats have been buffed recently. So it's actually worthwhile to gather up metal and build metal endgame. But yeah, that's cool. I didn't see anything looking that good over there. I don't see anyone over here, so I think we'll have time to loot. Okay, shields are going to be a thing, although probably not as useful when you're just sniped to the head. This is the new heavy sniper. Alright, cool. It uses big bullets. Neat. Hoping for, like, an AR scoped or something, because that might be really powerful here. Um, it's not great. Bouncers. Okay, so we can make traps, because bouncers could be useful for navigating around. Damage traps are a thing, okay. You know, I was skeptical, but this might actually be interesting. So hunting rifles are on the table. Cool. Which means probably only heavy ammo weapons, then. Except for hand cannons. So, I want to get two kills, right? So I should probably play aggressively if I want the kills. Alright, there's that last shield I wanted. So I have no clue how this guy plays out. He's supposed to take a really long time to reload, though. And be good against mats, but I'm not really going to announce my presence. I'll just do a playgrounds if I want to see how good he is. Hopefully they left the bush in. Like, the legendary sniper hiding in a bush should absolutely be a thing. But yeah, I think these are the three weapons we're gonna get, so I'm just hoping for golden versions of them. Might as well pick up all this ammo so I can give it to someone when they kill me. I'm not seeing a lot of medkits around here. What was that, the hunting rifle? That's fine. Do I want to grab that potion instead? No, I'll take the hunting rifle. Why not? 
So, I don't know about the ammo thing. Like, I'm thinking the ideal thing would not be the hunting rifle, but two scoped semi-autos. Because, like, having to reload is gonna suck. Boogie bomb might be interesting, though. But I think we're done here. Alright, we are now going stealth mode. Sniped at two meters. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know why I'm doing the Mission Impossible theme. I mean, the mission is impossible. Hmm, so if we loop around the mountain towards Pleasant, we're likely not to find anyone, do you think? Like, it will be people who jumped up over here by junk, which probably won't be too, too many. Unless someone's still going for their chests. I did manage to do that. Just waited a few days when it was a lot less hectic than it was just me and one other person who jumped there when I got the chests I needed. Thought I heard footsteps. See, I'm just gonna get up on top of this hill. Should give me a good line of sight. I heard that. <laughs> Three meters. I'm guessing it's the Beretta, the uh, the heavy sniper at close range. Hey, you know what I can't wait to do? Die in one hit. I wish I could lock rotation so I could just keep looking. As right now, I'm actually decently well hidden over here. I guess thermal scoped would be kind of OP over here, wouldn't it? I'm seeing a lot of sniping at closer range. I'd assumed they wanted people to be at far range. Probably someone in that structure. Yeah, this is going to be a lot more like those solos where I don't do anything to get sniped through the head when I'm trying to move to keep up with the storm. Because we're already, like, this is the first circle and we're down to 21 people. I really want to test this thing out, though. Watch this storm, see if anyone's running from it. Can see it on the mini map now. Doesn't look like anyone was there. Although they couldn't be running through the storm, but it's unlikely they were up over there anyways. Alright, where's the new storm at? It is not far. It's not close either, though.
Let's try circumnavigating over by Haunted. Because we got some time with the, before the storm starts to move in again, and by the time it moves in the third time, this is only the second run though, it will be, um... Be pretty much slow enough that we can walk away from it and we'll live. Also, we have the bandages if we do take health damage. I'm just hoping we don't. Um... <laughs> bludgeoned. Oh boy. Pickaxe deaths are gonna be a thing, aren't they? Right next to the storm, but if I'm right, no one will be up over here, so I can just keep moving. to it though we should move although we're so close to where the new thing's gonna be it will be slow enough I think we can just outwalk it because yeah I mean it t it's gonna take like a minute and a half to move that short distance we can see it on the mini map even We should stop drawing attention to ourselves. There's only 15 players left, plus me. There's a house over here we could go to. to hear another player in this house so I can sneak up on them. Zero meters, oh my goodness. I'm curious to see how this meta is going to play out. We're actually outside of the circle, aren't we? Yeah, that sucks. Like, we could probably be crouched in the doorway and be in the circle, but I'll just go up here. Such a bad hiding spot. <laughs> Now, if we're lucky, the circle won't be over there, but we might not be lucky. Ten players. I think I heard someone. Okay, we're still within the storm. right next to it. Sniped at four meters. I'm seeing how the meta goes. It's not sniping them from a distance, it's just playing it like it's regular. Okay, 20 meters is a distance. This is those sparse trees that might make interesting hunting ground. Odds are someone's going to be up on these two hills. Ah, oh boy. Let me just double check. Hopefully I'm recording. If not, then meh. To be honest, nothing interesting has happened. Except I think I can hear someone. But I don't know where. It's 
a small circle. Only six of us left. Five other people and me. I might not be able to... Well, no, I'm almost certainly not going to be able to snag victory over here. Maybe I should have grabbed a second Beretta instead of the second semi-auto. I prioritized bullets over um, damage. Because I assume that it might come down to the last guy and me, and he'll just crouch in a player structure, and I won't be able to get to him. Do I have anything? I got a damage trap on me. Might be able to do something with that. Like here, let's zoom in just a little. Yeah, we're within the circle. Not that I'm very worried about it. I don't know, the meta seems to play out a lot differently. I might let myself die early, like play another one of these and just die early, just to see what happens. We'll see. Man, I just wanted two kills for my dailies. That's all. Just two eliminations. I think we're all just crouched down in buildings like I am. Actual sniping going on. God dang it. Well, hmm, that kind of sucks.